Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2020, slot 2 DILR, has a table given to us. And it says that in an election, several candidates contested for a constituency. In any constituency, the winning candidate was the one who polled the highest number of votes. The first runner-up was the one who polled the second highest number of votes. The second runner-up, third highest, and so on. There were no ties in terms of number of votes polled by the candidates. So there is no tie in the number of votes in any of the constituencies. In an electoral system, a security deposit is the sum of money that a candidate is required to pay to the election commission before he or she is permitted to contest. Only the defeated candidates, that is one who have not, who have not been in the election, who fail to secure more than one-sixth of the valid votes, hold in the constituency, lose their security deposit. So if uh, a candidate is not uh, able to secure one-sixth of the votes, okay, then they are considered as uh, losing the security deposit. Okay. The following table provides some incomplete information about votes polled in four constituencies, A, B, C, D. Okay. So there are four constituencies, A, B, C, D. These are the number of candidates. Okay. These are the total votes and first, second, third and fourth, uh, first, second and third, uh, first, second, third and fourth. For fourth, they have given the percentage of votes. Okay. So that is the thing that is given to us and most of the data is missing in it. Uh, then some additional facts are given that the first runner-up polled 10,000 more votes than the second runner-up in constituency A. So it will help us find this value. Okay. Then uh, none of the candidates who contested in constituency C lost their security deposit. Okay. So uh, let's put this value. This will be 85,000. Straightforward number. Then none of the candidates in constituency C lost their security deposit. So all of them, there are five candidates. This is one, two, three, four. There will be a fifth candidate. None of them is losing the security deposit. And the difference in the votes pulled by any pair of candidates was at least 10,000. So the difference is at least 10,000. Okay. So let us say if the lowest person is gaining X votes, Okay, let's say the person is getting X votes. This person should get X plus 10 K 10,000. That is the minimum. This person should get minimum X plus 20,000. X plus 30,000 and X plus 40,000. Right. So these are the minimum votes. So we will get 5 X plus 1 lakh uh, uh, 10, 20, 30, 60. So 5x plus 1 lakh is equal to 6 lakh and 30. Okay. So we have 5x is equal to 1 lakh 30. Sorry, 5 lakh 30. 5 lakh 30. Or x is equal to 1 double 0, 0, 0, 6. 1 lakh 6 will be the value of the number of votes received by the minimum, I mean, by the last candidate. These are the minimum number of votes received, right? Because if you are taking X, then this person should get X plus 10,000, X plus 20,000. So we will get this as the value. That is the, uh, sorry, that will be the maximum number of votes received uh, because we are putting all others as minimum possible value. Also, it is saying that none of the candidates lost their security deposit. The security deposit come lose over like if you get uh, less than one sixth okay so if you uh, divide by six right so uh, if you say that only the defeated candidates who fail to secure more than one sixth so one sixth is uh, if you divide by six you will get one lakh five so if you fail to secure these many votes right you have to secure more than one sixth to prevent from uh, the security deposit loss. So this is the maximum possible value. This is the minimum possible value also. So you have to secure more than 1,6 votes. So it was a carefully crafted value. Hence, we will get the values received, number of votes received by all these candidates. So this person will receive 1,6 votes. This will receive 1,10,006 votes, 1,20,006 votes, 1,30,000 and 6 votes. This person will receive 1,40,000 and 6 votes. Okay, so these are the number of votes 
for each of the five candidates. So for C, we can find all these values because there is one minimum and maximum value possible. That is the only value possible for the number of votes. Third says the winning candidate in constituency D hold 5% of valid votes more than that of the first runner up. Okay. And all the candidates who lost their security deposit while contesting for this constituency put together hold 35% of the valid votes. Okay. Now let us use this information to find some thing like total number of votes pulled and the number of votes by first candidate. Right. Okay. So uh, if you notice these values 375 and 300. So can it be written as 5 and 4? Isn't it 5 ratio 4? So let us say this candidate has got 5x percent votes. This person has get got 4x percent votes. Okay. It says the winning candidate has pulled 5% of valid votes more. So that means this is 5x plus 5 percentage of votes. Okay. That is the thing which is given to us. Right. Now it says that... 35% of the people lost their security deposit. Okay, 35% of uh, not the candidates, it says 35%, all the candidates who lost their security deposit, they got 35% of the votes. Okay. Now it is possible that these four people are gaining votes and the rest of the people. Now this this person is getting 10% of the votes. So he will lose the security deposit. Okay, definitely this person is going to lose the security deposit. Okay, so we cannot have these four people. So 35% is lost, 65% of the 65 percent of the votes will be the ones among the ones who retain their security deposit. Okay, now it is possible that these two add up to 65 or these three add up to 65 because this person is definitely losing getting only 10% votes. So let us take the two cases. If we take the first case, in the first case what happens is we get 10x plus 5 is equal to 65, right? This means that x is equal to 6. If we give x equal to 6, so in this scenario, the person will get 35% votes. This will get 30% votes. This is getting 24%. Now, this person cannot lose that security deposit, okay? This person cannot lose the security deposit because he is gaining more than 1 6. So, our assumption is wrong. So, that means these three people lose the security deposit. Okay, top three, uh, uh, do not lose the security deposit. So we have these three being added up. It will give us 14x plus 5 is equal to 65%. Okay, now how do we get the values? So we have 14x plus 5 is 65 or we will get 14x is 60 or x is 30 by 7. Okay, x is 30 by 7. Now we will find the total number of words. So 5x is uh, or we can take uh, this as a round of number. We can take 4x. 4x will be 120 by 7. 120 by 7 percent is 30,000. Okay. So what is the total 120 by 7 percent of total votes is 30,000. 14x plus 5 is 65. x is 30 by 7. This is 4x. So 120 by 7 percent. So total votes will be 30,000 into 7 by 120 percentage. Okay, so we'll multiply by uh, 100 to get the result. So this is uh, what we will get as 120 into 25, 250, 250 into 7 and multiplied by 100 also because this is a percentage value. Okay, so percentage means uh, 120 by 700 or 700 by 120. So accordingly, we will get 250 into 7 is 1750 and two more zeros so one seven five zero and two more zeros so we will get one lakh seventy five thousand votes okay one lakh seventy five thousand votes and the next thing is this person is getting five percent more votes so five percent of one seven five zero is eight uh, eight seventy five eight seven five zero that will be five percent 5% of this total is 8750 add to 37500 so it will be 50 right and then it is 250 and 
फोर्टी थर्टी सेवन प्लस एट इज फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी वी विल गेट एज द वैल्यू सो दिस वॉज द इन्फॉर्मेशन गिवन एंड दीज आर द इन्फॉर्मेशन वी कैन फाइंड आउट फ्रॉम द गिवन स्टेटमेंट ओके नाउ वी कैन आंसर द क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दिस वॉज नीडेड टू आंसर द ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन सो डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन डिफरेंट पीसेस ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन विल बी नीडेड we have calculated all such things in the beginning itself what is the percentage of votes polled in total by all the candidates who lost their security deposit while contesting for constituency a okay so constituency a these three are not going to lose so uh, like this is 5 lakh this is 17% right so these three are not going to lose so this is 180 455 455000 so remaining people have 45000 these three top three are getting 455000 remaining are getting 45000 and all of them will lose so 45000 by 500000 is 9% so 9 percentage of votes will be uh, will be by the candidates who lost their security deposit so this is the collective of all the other candidates how many candidates who contested in security uh, constituency b lost their security deposit now if you calculate uh, the value it is 15 times like uh, 32 into 15 is 48 like 480 and so if you just observe it it is 15 times right now this person winner itself is getting 15% okay now the the condition that was given is now some people might be tempted to answer 12 here but the condition given that only the debated candidates right will be lose their security deposit so this is the winning candidate right so winner cannot lose the security deposit so that means 11 candidates will lose the security deposit because all of them will get less than 15% what best can be concluded about the number of votes polled by the winning candidate in constituency c so this is what we figured out That exact number can be figured out from the data given. What was the number of votes polled, valid votes polled in constituency D? So this is one lakh seventy five thousand. So we calculated all these values in advance uh, in order to be able to answer the questions. Next question: The winning margin of a constituency is defined as the difference of votes polled by the winner and that of the first runner. That is the winning margin. Okay. and we need to tell which of the following cannot be the list of constituencies in increasing order of the winning margin now if you see these constituency a the winning margin is 180000 okay this we do not know this is 10000 and this is how much uh, 8750 8.75000 which we calculated previously right so these are the winning margins so definitely d uh, is on the lower side right and a is on the highest so a is highest in all that is fine now it is saying that which of the following cannot be the list so d should come before c we know that d is less than c okay so in one of the options c is given less than d so that is our answer because we do not know about b it can be more than others also b can be less lesser winning margin it can be higher winning margin than any of these so we do not know about b but we know about c and d so d is definitely less than c if you take this that is a wrong option for all the four constituencies taken together what was the approximate number of votes polled by all the candidates who lost their security deposit expressed as a percentage of the total valid votes from these four constituencies so this is a calculation heavy question it is asking that approximate number of votes polled by the candidates who lost their security deposit okay now in constituency c no one is losing security deposit in this uh, all these people are uh, like these three are not uh, losing so the remaining was 45000 which we calculated previously okay in this constituency subtract 48750 so we will get this value is 45000 this value is 250 and uh, 276 okay because this person is not losing here the value is zero and in this case 
the value is like uh, these three are not losing okay and rest 35 percent are losing so we can calculate 35 percent directly without even subtracting it because it was given that 35 percent of the valid votes so 35 into 175 uh, 35 into 35 is uh, 35 square is 1225 and we will take half of it because basically if we do 350 into 35 that will be this value it is 175 so divided by 2 so we will get 6125 so 61250 okay so uh, you can multiply by 35 directly also i did it a different way right so these are the number of people who are losing their uh, the security deposit now can we approximate the value let's see if we can approximate this value total votes are how many so this 325 and 175 that is 5 lakh this is 5 lakh 10 10 plus 6 lakh this is negligible 30 is negligible in place of others so total votes are 16 lakhs okay and how many have been lost so 276 and 61 337 okay 337 500 and this is 45,000. So we get 382,500. 382,500. And total votes are 16 lakhs. So we need to divide by 16 lakh. So divide 382 by 16. So 16, 2 is 32. We get. 62 so which is roughly four times right approximately four so 24 very close to 24 i mean see these two can be eliminated it has to be between 23.54 and 23.9 i mean you can calculate it in steps also like uh, you get 662 right then you get 48 14 and 140 right nine times you will say that 144 so approximately it is asking approximately Okay, so approximately this will be the answer 23.91%. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the question. It was uh, a quite calculation intensive and information intensive set and ideally should not have been the first set to be attempted in the examination.